I'm a game developer at heart, and I've been going to GDC since 2009. Every year, GDC is where the game developer community gathers to learn and network and get the latest news on game development. So I'm joined with Matthew McCullough, VP of Product Management for Android, to learn about the key announcements from Android at GDC. So Matthew, before we jump into these updates, can you let us know which game you're recently playing? It's a classic series, Asphalt Legends Unite, but I've been consistently playing a racing game since uh, my days with pole position. I even spoil my nieces and nephews when playing in tabletop mode with my Pixel 9 Pro Fold. That tabletop posture is just so fun and so cool. Tabletop mode is awesome for games. The controls are way better. Okay, now let's jump into the news. I hear there's some big updates to games on Android. That's right. Android and Play are releasing some big updates for game developers like you. We're helping you build with better tools and engage with players on more screens. Android powers a diverse and fast-growing ecosystem of devices, and we want to make it as easy as possible to build some amazing gaming experiences. Let's talk about Vulkan first. How does Android make Vulkan integration easier for developers? These days, Games require more processing power for realistic graphics and cutting edge visuals. Vulkan helps you maximize the performance of modern GPUs so you can implement advanced features like ray tracing and multi-threading for immersive visuals, which is what our gamers expect. That's why we're transitioning to a modern, unified rendering stack with Vulkan at its core. The Vulkan Graphics API has been available since Android 7.0. Last year in Android 15, we included Angle as an optional layer for running OpenGL ES on top of Vulkan. This really speaks to how we're making the Vulkan transition as easy as possible. And with future Android releases, more devices will use Vulkan to process all their graphics commands. We're also partnering with major game engines like Unity, enabling you to select and configure Vulkan at the level of each targeted device, starting with Unity 6. As a gamer, I love to push my device to the limit. How is Android helping developers make the most of premium devices? One of those ways is through ADPF, the Android Dynamic Performance Framework, which helps you get the best game performance on each device. And this is going to be especially helpful for the diverse ecosystem of devices on Android. ADPF enables you to adjust between the devices and the game's performance in real time, based on the thermal state of the device. It even allows games to send signals about their upcoming resource needs so the device can adjust ahead of the demand. ADPF is getting a big update today. We worked with MediaTek to enhance the performance and make ADPF compatible with a greater number of devices. Net result? Smoother and longer gameplay without draining the battery from the player's device. So, say I'm a developer. I've recently launched my game, and now I want to understand some of the technical measures of how it's performing. How can you help me? Well, releasing your game on Play gives you access to Play Console. That's where you'll find a host of tools that will help you achieve a high-quality experience across a range of devices. We're newly including low memory kills in Android Vitals, giving you insight into memory constraints that can cause your game to crash. We recommend checking this section regularly for technical quality metrics like user-perceived ANRs, crash rates, and slow sessions that can affect your rating. What are some opportunities for developers to expand their reach on Android? One of the biggest trends we're seeing on Android is users having multiple devices and wanting to be able to switch from screen to screen. And this means opportunities for you to reach more players. That's why we're launching a pilot program to help you bring your PC games to mobile all the way from game development to publishing on play. We're thrilled to see Dredge, Tabs Mobile, and Disco Elysium launching on Android this year through our pilot program with more games on the way. I can't wait to try playing them on my commute. Matthew, thanks so much for chatting with me today. That's a wrap for this quick look into some of the new things we're launching to make game development even better on Android. To learn more about any of these updates, check out our blog on the Android Developer website. Thanks for watching.